Meanwhile, let's uh, put in the focus on one of the sectors that's been holding up the market so far. It's uh, not participated in trade today, but has been one of the pillars that markets have stood on. Uh, 2019 has brought a lot of cheer for the IT sector. Large caps and mid caps have been outperforming. Within that, uh, select large cap names have been on the move. Wipro, Life Highs are coming in on that one. Tech Mahindra has done well. Infi and TCS, of course, because of their uh, contribution, have gained anywhere between 15 to 16% for the year. Apuru Prasad, Senior Analyst, uh, Institutional equities at HDFC Securities joins us to talk about this trend. Apurva, uh, you know, before we get stock specific, just talk to us about what's driving this kind of interest in the IT sector. It's the top mover sectorally for this year. It has held on the markets uh, very well. What's driving the interest here? And do you expect this interest to sustain going forward? Sure. So uh, there has been a very, very strong outperformance. So if you see, this year has been doing well. If you see even last year, there was a very, very strong outperformance over the benchmark. And if you see, there are some of the levers which are moving very favorably for the sector. So be it the growth metrics, be it the quality of that growth, uh, as well as uh, if I'm looking at all the lead indicators uh, for growth in future. So, I mean, if you just look at how uh, they have managed to scale that digital, uh, you know, over the last two to three years, that's been phenomenal. You know? So the point of, you know, gaining market share versus peers who were, you know, early adopters, and who led the cycle? I think that's that's been a big change, you know, which has come about. We've seen uh, team sizes in digital, uh, which have also jumped up significantly over the last year or so. So I think that's been uh, the broad, uh, you know, driver for uh, you know for the overall sector. And, and if you look at the indicators now, whether it is you know the deal flow metrics as well as the hiring momentum. I think all of this is indicated towards a strong uh, sort of an FY20 outlook. So FY19, there were a lot of tailwinds that were, uh, you know, in support of all of this. Uh, but I think uh, the confidence of uh, sustaining this kind of growth rates, I think, is, is, is what will support valuations. Uh, in that context, and uh, especially because you mentioned uh, digital as one of the key momentum factors here, uh, talk to us about the NASCOM commentary that they came in. Uh, they've not given an outlook for FY20. Primarily because of the digital disruption, they've sounded a little cautious as well. But essentially, you know, tying in the digital story, uh, A, how big can it be from here? You know, for most of the companies, including something like TCS, now almost a quarter of the revenue is coming from digital. And going forward, is this only going to pick up more steam? Which companies would then benefit? I think it's been doing tremendously. If you look at digital, so you talked about TCS. So TCS digital has grown up and grown about two and a half times over the last three years, you know. And that's a base of six billion dollars currently. I mean, uh, almost similar as the trend for Infosys uh, digital growth rates. You know, so most of the companies have started breaking out that number, and that growth rate currently is about 30 to 33 percent. And this would be anywhere between uh, you know uh, 30 percent for some of the larger peers, and, and maybe in the high 30s for some of the mid peers. That continues to grow, to grow at about 25 to 30 percent plus. In fact, TCS did almost 45, 50 percent plus in, in that segment. So I think that continues uh, to be. Uh, the big driver uh, for this, and there has been a lot of changes in around that. So the entire partner ecosystem for uh, Indian IT companies has transformed in a big way. There has been a lot more investments in reskilling and platforms, you know, that that have gone into, and there have been some tap in acquisitions that have also helped. But there has been a big transformation uh, for the sector. What has happened is your overall addressable market has changed. So it's it's no more pure IT. You know, you're addressing the larger tech budgets of enterprises, which is you know turns out to be large. A lot bigger, and what it is also doing now is, as digital is becoming, you know, more closer to core, it's becoming more non-discretionary, which means, you know, the immunity towards macro cycles, you know, that that is increasing, and that's, I think that's very good news. So I think, uh, you know, these are some of the aspects which which is capturing the overall momentum. Where would you be placing your bets then, Apurva? What's looking good to you right now? So large caps, uh, we prefer TCS. Uh, that's that's our topic in tier one IT. We also like HCL Tech, Tech Mahindra. Um, and enforces. Wipro, uh, we have a neutral rating on that. And uh, mid caps, uh, we like an emphasis, uh, LNT Technologies, Zansar, and Jesco. These are our topics in the mid cap IT space. Just uh, specifically want to take a, a view on Wipro, uh, if you can elaborate on that, Apura. You know, historic underperformer in the space, last six months suddenly has seen a reversal in momentum. Uh, it's done well both on the earnings front and more importantly in the market interest that's coming in Wipro. Why Wipro right now and again, can this continue? 
So I think there are two reasons, you know, for Ripple's outperformance. One is obviously the capital allocation, and ever since they started doing uh, buybacks, uh, I think that that has been a change. Uh, uh, and number two has been their improvement in margins. Not as much in the revenue momentum. So the revenue momentum, it's still lagging the, uh, some of the, the larger, in fact, all the larger peers. Uh, but it's more in the margin. So I think operational improvement has probably been uh, the bigger reason for it was our performance, but you know, at these valuations, and relative to how they're expected to grow versus some of their peers, I think uh, it's probably the, the, there are better alternatives. All right. So while it has done well, and there are reasons behind that, there are better alternatives. Uh, uh, Purva, the trend of buybacks. Do you expect this to continue? I mean, you are, you're seeing round two of buybacks from the large cap majors, and even the commentary that's coming in uh, is suggestive that buyback slash dividend payout is going. You are, you're seeing round two of buybacks from the large cap majors and even the commentary that's coming in uh, is suggestive that buyback slash dividend payout is going to be a regular feature going forward from here. Uh, is this going to continue? And again, the retail question that comes in, uh, should retail investors be participating in these buybacks? Absolutely. So I think, look, uh, this uh, trend of buyback is pretty much mirroring the, the global tech, uh, you know, capital allocation strategy. You know, and I think it's fair, you know. So you would either deploy that cash towards major capex or acquisitions. In absence of that, if you're generating strong free cash, it's, it's probably prudent to return that to shareholders. So I think uh, I think that that's a good thing, and I think that should continue. And uh, yeah, retail tendering depending on you know what is the upside price potential and how good the acceptance can be. That should continue to provide a good opportunity in future. Right. Uh, Purva, thanks so much for joining in uh, this morning and running us your reading of the situation. Those are the IT stocks for you. Uh, a lot of momentum that's been built up this year have been the pillars, TCS, Infi in particular. You've had Tech Mahindra that's hit fresh highs, buyback coming in at 950 rupees per share. So more headroom on that counter. Wipro that has seen a runaway rally as well. In the top uh, or amongst the top performing Nifty stocks for the year as well. So the entire uh, IT pack has been abuzz and there are multiple levers, whether it's the digital uh, transformation of the digital business that's growing, buybacks that are providing downside support, a better capital allocation strategy, and of course margins uh, that were a little soft in Q3, but uh, Street isn't too concerned about that. Watch out for the IT names uh, in trade. Uh, this is going to be a big story going forward from here as well. But on that note, completely out of time on this edition of Trending Today. Thank you so much for watching. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is expected to speak in a short while. Be sure to tune in for that as well. We'll, back, we'll be back with FNO Spotlight on the other side of this break.